First of all, I woke up in the morning sometime around 5 o'clock, and the windows in the house were rattling back and forth. They were metal windows, and it was like an earthquake detection, and I knew something was bad. I see the street was, uh, so gas blow exploded, like, and the water, like, it was, was like, <laughs> End of the world, like we're talking about something different life. I didn't know how bad it was until I went to the garage. I tried to get to work and I can't open the door. So I called Diane and uh, I asked her and I go, Diane, I can't come. She started laughing. She goes, the whole building collapsed and you're worrying about the garage door. The day itself was uh, horrific at, at best for everybody involved. Uh, of course, this, uh, this location here had, was the epicenter. It used to take us like four hours to go to work and four hours back home because of all the traffic since a lot of the uh, freeways were shut down. The 14 was shut down actually because I think it collapsed. There was an accident there. So that's why there was no way to go through the area. The real damage was done in the main building where they do all the assembly. The roof had caved in and was water on the floor from the sprinkler system. Components were on the floor. The thing is we had to retrofit the wall because it's a concrete block, not block wall, but concrete uh, tilt-up construction. We added some kind of a steel brace frame, which you can see some location has diagonal steel uh, wide flange beams, which brace the building to reduce the movement during the earthquake. We now have a superstructure that holds all that together, so literally we really have a building within a building. Once the building has been upgraded, besides just protect the building, it's also protect equipment and people and whatever inside of this uh, envelope of the building. The structural engineer, they always have 10% more than you require. But Mr. Aurora told him, add another 10% safety factor. So the safety factor over here was just excellent. We decided uh, what was next was to uh, pretend we were in the Marines again and mobilize down the street. And within two weeks, we had, uh, we had rebuilt the facility in, inside of a, uh, uh, a warehouse, if you will, made a pseudo clean room, and we're actually building product. This is the safest building. If there's an earthquake, I would recommend people to run in here. <laughs> So that saw to it that everybody uh, was, remained on the payroll. He started another building on the other side of town, and nobody was laid off. Some customers call us to tell us we need some part. And then we were was looking at each other what to do. And then after like six days, seven days after that, we shipped. Every day, Sudas would uh, hold a meeting for the little group, and everybody helped each other. People did things, uh, worked on on things that they did not normally work on. It was a matter of days that we were, you know, back in production. We became a little family during that time and a lot closer. We learned that it's a strong company, you know, managed by strong people, especially the owner. He's obviously, you know, the foundation and made it happen. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. I mean, from what NATO used to be to what it is now, it's a huge difference. And, and how quick they turn things around to, to, for the better of the company and the employees. Once we were calm, my dad said, okay, I need to go to work. I need to see what's going on over there. We stayed at home and I didn't realize that he was, he was working so much, that he was so busy because he was always there for us. Whenever we needed him, he was there for a lot of the after, aftershocks. There was a, pretty big one a couple of days later he was I don't remember that time where he wasn't there and I think what's amazing is I talked to a lot of employees and they say the same thing they don't remember a time when he wasn't at work and I don't know how he did it how he managed to be everywhere at once he worked like 24 hour a day and he didn't go to home in this day in the other building honest anytime I came in like his car over there he tried out to put it back together Natel is a very professional company. Everybody that works here, and Mr. Aurora, he just lets you do. This is your job, you're responsible for it, you handle it. That is the best thing any client can say to his contractor or his people. Thank God nothing happened to our family, our houses, and we were still working. We still had a job and everything was back to normal, and nobody 
you know, everybody survived. Mr. Aurora was the nicest person to work for.